Plank. And I'm Judy Gatz, and as we have seen countless times over the past few years, cameras are everywhere. Web webcams, surveillance cameras, and of course, even on cell phones. And that was the case a week ago tonight when a confrontation began to play out between an off-duty Richland County deputy and a female soldier at a bar on Divine Street. At least one of the bystanders pulled out his phone and began recording after the deputy approached an emotionally distraught young woman. A short time later, the deputy put her in handcuffs and began shouting at her, trying to force her to stand. He's now on leave without pay as Sheriff Leon Lott prepares to meet with police and the Fifth Circuit solicitor. Senior reporter Jack Kinsey obtained the exclusive video and spoke today with the man who shot it. Jack joins us in our newsroom with more on the video. Jack? Dondi and Judy, Sheriff Lott admits the video does not show his deputy, Paul Derrick, in a particularly favorable way. And so far, the reaction from our viewers has been, well, you'd have to say it has been harsh. But take a look for yourself and make your own decision. Was the deputy over the line? I'll see the jobs. Monday night, a week ago, on the patio at Buffalo Wild Wings on Divine Street, off-duty Richland County Deputy Paul Derrick has placed a young woman in handcuffs. Handcuffs, the 14-year department veteran, has retrieved from his truck along with his gun and badge. It's not immediately clear why Derek has chosen to take those actions, but another customer decides to begin recording the events with a cell phone. He is 23-year-old USC student and soldier Stephen Hughes, known to his friends as Wawa. I said, man, I'm going to start videoing this because I think something's about to get out of hand. And about the time I got my video out, he, he had her turn around and was putting her in handcuffs. I mean, that she never yelled at him, she never resisted, she, she was as calm as she could be. Obviously, she was scared. I mean, when you get arrested, especially if it's your first time, you're going to be, you're going to be scared. The confrontation between Derek and the woman, 23-year-old Brittany Ball, continues to escalate. It turns out Ball is also a soldier at Fort Jackson, a fact not lost on Derek, who is an ex-Marine. With her hands cuffed behind her, the video shows Derek yanking on the chain and shouting commands as Ball screams. It was a uh, stand up, soldier stand up. This is what the Marines do to us. And then the next line is something along the lines of, this is how the Army is treated by Marines. Let me show you. At one point, Ball appears to pitch forward into a table, buckling it. Watching nearby, and at times trying to intervene, restaurant employees and other customers, including three other soldiers. At an establishment like that, if the management hasn't asked you to leave, then you as a customer can't ask somebody to leave. I mean, you have to go get management. That's the whole point of having a business is let management handle it. Derek, though, does not let management handle it, instead warning others away as he remains on the patio with Ball still unable to free herself. Step away! By now, Columbia police are on the way. When they arrive, Hughes shows the video to an officer. He watched maybe the first 30 seconds of it, and when he heard the Marine Army comment, he said, all right, things just changed. Arrest him, 1037, and release her. And that's when I said, sir, I said, I know it's hard, but you, that's the right thing. I said, I do applaud you for doing the right thing. Derek facing two counts of assault. Now, Sheriff Lott said last week that he did not believe that police understood that Derek had the legal authority to detain or arrest Ball. But Lott also indicated he believed that mistakes had been made on both sides, his department as well as the Columbia Police Department. Lott, as of last report, was still planning on meeting tomorrow with Interim Police Chief Ruben Santiago and Fifth Circuit Solicitor Dan Johnson. We are live in the